The following is a party political broadcast for the New Zealand First Party. The biggest decision that we're going to make in a few weeks' time is whether we want our country to be great again. Whether we want our country to regain its rightful place in the world, a leading economy, delivering social justice and providing real hope for its people. Every New Zealander knows that we live in a blessed country with a marvellous environment, serious natural resources and a talented people. The real issue in this election is whether, with our people and our resources, we could and should be at the top of the world, or whether what we have now is as good as it gets. There's no escaping the fact that New Zealand is a great country where too much of its wealth is owned by so few, and much of that foreign ownership offshore, like the banking system, the insurance system, the share market, and now alarmingly land, forestry and other natural resources. We will never be wealthy if someone else is in control of our resources. Too much of what our governments have been doing simply doesn't make any sense. Is it common sense to forget the needs of the elderly? Is it common sense that so many of our young people are struggling to pay for their education? Is it common sense to you to have programs based on race and not need? Is it common sense to load up our students with debt and then not give them a future or a job in their own country? Is it common sense that so much of our fishing resource is caught and processed by people from another country? Is it common sense in these times of high unemployment and so many homeless that we have a net of 41,000 people immigrating to New Zealand? Is it common sense to you to have hundreds of thousands of children going hungry and so many families struggling just to get by each week? Is it common sense for so much of our asset wealth to be owned by foreigners? Is it common sense to you that so much of our farm and forest land is owned offshore? Is it common sense to you for the government and the country to go into record debt to foreign lenders when we could be saving to finance our own futures? This election is about you. And if you think any of these things simply don't make sense, then New Zealand First is the party for you. We want to declare war on poverty and we'll start by taking GST off your food and off your rates. We want to stop the sell-off of our land and assets to foreign interests. We want to cut back on open door immigration. We want government for all New Zealanders, whether it's about housing, health, education or jobs. And we'll do it with one law for all. We want a sound economy that's able to look after the baby, the student, the family and the retired. Foreign ownership, immigration, racism and poverty are the issues that the other parties have tried to brush under the carpet. But we have to have a debate about it and only New Zealand First is prepared to lead it. We're not against people from other countries, but common sense says we should not have a total open door policy to the rest of the world. It's time the interests of the New Zealand worker, business and New Zealand people came first. If you agree with us, if you want common sense, then party vote New Zealand first on September 20. That was a party political broadcast for the New Zealand First Party, authorised by Bernard Harris, 84 Mills Road, Wellington 6021.